Welcome. I have been sent a set of brushes by this lovely company who sent me some before. I will put the details in the description box below because I know as it's a Chinese company I haven't a clue how to say it so forgive me. But all the details of how you get hold of them and the 20% discount I can give you will be in the box below. So what do we have? Well it came in a nice bubble wrap little jiffy big thing and nice cellophane wrap and then here it is so look at that um, I don't suppose it is leather but it feels like it very nice little pocket um, little pouch so you can tuck them in there so let's see what we've got these are for a travel set Fui Mui um, forgive me uh, okay so what do we have well they have given me a number 12 flat, a number 6 flat and some rounds with very good points. In fact the last brushes they gave me had excellent points. A 0, a 4, an 8 and a 10. So let's have a look. Okay, so lovely little, isn't that sweet? I do like packaging. Um, Good to protect the tip, but I would suggest you don't try to put them back on after you've used them. Um, if your brushes aren't completely dry, you might push a bristle back somewhere or it might distort them. So let's just get them all undressed, as it were. Packaging, it can be a bit baffling sometimes. There's that one. So it was a nice, easy little package that my post delivery person could put in my letterbox, which is also nice. The handles are lovely wood handles, which is very nice because quite often. Um, when you get brushes that have got paint on sometimes when they've been used a lot or they get wet the paint can flake off which gets a bit messy and a bit annoying so let's see there they've got the dressing on by that I mean it's a finishing um, sort of glue thing to um, keep them all nice together so you can just give them a, a flick with your hand okay and these are sable brushes which is always nice I like to wet the pointed ones the round ones because they oh yes you can feel it um, it's quite sort of like gluey it's a bit sticky so I like to get that off completely And quite nice the fact that they are travel brushes and they've got short handles so when it comes to packing or whatever it is you're having to deal with then it makes it easier space wise but the the little case they come in is really nice okay let's clear the decks a bit let's get started so I'm just going to see how they perform um, I've got a box of paint here which happened to be anybody wants to know Paul Rubens I'm just going to stick those there right so let's start off with this number 12 this is watercolour paper those who want to know it's a fab Briano 300 gram and it's uh, a texture it's rough right holds a nice lot of water I'm going to use it what's in my mixing palette there we go now there's a stray bristle there that often happens with new brushes don't worry about it right nice yeah, not bad. Uh, sometimes they're thinner. Uh, it depends sometimes on the thickness of the brush. You can get a really thin um, edge. There's a bit of a, a kink in it, but you know, 
it's lovely that would lay down a wash very nicely very nice indeed yeah it feels nice it's comfortable to hold good metal ferrule looks well attached yeah you ought to think about these things sometimes it's all very well you see offers you know a, a brush set oh it's, oh it's ever so cheap you know and then after a while you can see why um, right this one this is the number six let's go a bit of green lurking in my mixing tray that spreads out quite well look Yep, um, didn't put that down, did I? Oh, number six. Let's do a little bit more. You can see the texture on the paper there, but it's got quite a good spread if you want to make a bit more of it. And it does have a nice edge. Remember, it's all about how you use, you know, it's not the brush, it's how you use it. Let's double load and see. Yeah. Ooh, that's fun. Always tidy up your brushes afterwards. Right, let's go for a bit more colour. Let's have some orange. This is the number eight. Now, nice point. As a point of um, more information, look how I'm holding the brush. Um, I see some very strange brush holding methods I've got it I mean you know people hold it they're taught differently whatever um, it's what's comfortable but I'm resting the ferrule I'm holding the ferrule on the third finger then I'm using the thumb and the index finger that is the thing index finger forefinger um, to make the movement so and I'm resting my hand on the um, paper So by doing that, I'm getting that lovely point that the brush has and then I can spread down. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yes. These people make nice brushes, I've decided. And at a good price. Uh, number... What's this one? Number four. Again, a nice point. They've been well put together because um, you can get almost one bristle. But look how they're holding the paint. They're loading well. They're holding the water. All these things are important. Lovely. Right, this is zero. Let's have some red. Some scarlet. Now, is that pigment? There's some little bits. Yeah, I think it is. That's still got quite a good spread on it, look. Nearly as much as that, and yet it's a much smaller brush. 
So these are things that are interesting that you learn. I mean, you, could, you can't do it in the shop, can you really, I suppose? Um, well, I just want to paint with those brushes, please, and see what they're like. But it's not until you actually do that you can... Now, look at that. A bit more water. Lovely. Those are very nice. I would endorse those. Um, as I say, you can get 20% off. It's the descriptions in the box below. And um, thank you very much, um, um, the nice people from this company. <laughs> Uh, I like those very much and I will certainly pack them on my next travelling art event. Thank you.